Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a body horror film, Hatching. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film begins with Tinya, a 12-year-old gymnast, getting filmed by her influencer and former figure skater mother. The family leaves in a comfortable and spacious home, where they show their viewers and followers how lovely their Finnish family is. While ending the vlog, a crow suddenly flies through the window and creates a mess by destroying the expensive vases and chandelier. Tinya slowly and calmly approaches it and puts a blanket over it before giving it to her mother. However, her mother snaps its neck. Although saddened by its death, Tinya disposes of it in the trash can outside as instructed by her mother. While outside, Tinya meets their neighbor, Rita, who is a French bulldog. Tinya tries to pet the dog, but she snarls at her and tries to bite her fingers off. Rita apologizes for her dog's behavior, but Tinya dismisses it as she's not hurt. Later that day, the mother shows Tinya their new vlog introduction, showing what a perfect family they are. Tinya informs her mother about the new neighbors and how Rita invited her to come over tomorrow. However, her mother reminds her to prepare for the competition. Later that night, Tinya wakes up from the sound of cawing, so she leaves their house and follows it, leading to the woods, where she finds the crow still injured. She tries to help it, but her good intention hurts it more, so she takes a stone and beats it to death, ending its misery. Just then, she sees an egg, presumably why the crow returned to the woods. Guilty of causing death upon the crow, Tinya takes the egg home and incubates it under her teddy bear. The following day, during practice, Tinya struggles to make a beautiful landing. Her coach encourages her to trust herself and not overwork herself, so her improvement will be consistent until she's ready for the competition. After the practice, Tinya jogs her way home, where she finds her mother in an intimate embrace with the repairman. The two immediately break the embrace as the man sees Tinya. Her mother casually introduces the man as Tiro and then instructs her to change her gymnastics clothes. Not long after, her mother comes into her room and gives her a shimmering custom that she can wear for the competition. However, her silence tips off her mother that she saw their affair. Her mother tries to explain her situation with Tiro and asks Tinya to keep her affair between them. Tinya agrees, and her mother informs her that she will be gone for a few days. Days later, while they're filming, the mother returns home from what she claims is a business trip. Later that day, Tinya cannot hide her shock as she checks the egg, which has gotten bigger. It hasn't hatched yet, so she hides it inside her teddy bear to continue its incubation. The following day, Tinya and Rita unexpectedly reunite during practice. Tinya is improving, but Rita does her routine perfectly, which impresses the coach and the mother. So after the training hours, her mother pushes Tinya to her limits and pressures her to do the perfect landing as Rita did. Tinya gets blisters on her hands from overdoing it, but her mother doesn't care about that. Eventually, she does the land, but still needs improvement. Later that night, as she touches the egg, Tinya notices that light illuminates inside, and the creature moves along with her fingers. Later, she goes to her mother's room, where her mother confesses that she's in love, making Tinya giddy and happy for her. However, she's not in love with her husband. It's with Tiro, which erases the smile on Tinya's face. Tinya worries about her father, because she doesn't fully understand the situation. She returns to her room and hugs the egg, which has gotten humongous that it cannot fit inside her teddy bear and more. Just then, her tears of sadness prompt the egg to hatch. She hides in her closet and watches as the creature inside the egg escapes through the window. She immediately covers her bed with her comforter as her father enters and finds the broken window. Tinya tells him that a large bird has broken into her room, and they clean the glass shards from the broken window the following day. Later that night, Tinya wakes up from the sound of cawing, and when she checks her window, she finds the creature there. Tinya backs away in fear as the creature crawls toward her. She observes its features and notices that it's like an evolved species of a bird. It doesn't harm her and points out to its left arm, which was injured by a glass shard last night. Tinya reluctantly removes it, and the creature holds her hand and takes it to its head, guiding her on petting it. Tinya realizes it's not harmful, so she takes it to the bathtub to clean it, as its body stinks. While playing with the water, Tinya's younger brother tries to enter to pee. Tinya immediately holds the door and pushes her brother away until he leaves. After helping it clean itself, they return to her bedroom. Tinya sleeps on the bed, while the creature sleeps underneath. While asleep, Tinya becomes annoyed by Rita's dog's constant barking. This wakes up the creature, so it leaves her room, and Tinya wakes up not long after and finds it on top of her. Its slimy saliva drops on her face, but she endures it. Right then, the creature moves her head to the left, where she finds the dog's decapitated corpse. The disgusting scene before her prompts her to vomit, to which the creature eats the way baby birds are fed by their parents. Tinya wraps the dead dog with a towel and buries it in their yard, and unbeknownst to her, her brother's watching. She returns to her room and pets the creature underneath the bed when her brother barges in with their father. It turns out, her brother told their father about the incident last night in the bathroom. Their father is about to scold Tinya's behavior when he sees a little blood on her bedsheet. He immediately thinks that Tinya has gotten her first period, so he takes the boy out of the room. 
The following day, Tinya runs into her gymnastics mates at the pet store. The others think that she's weird just because she's shy, but Rita is unlike them. Tinya walks home with Rita, and on the way, Rita gives Tinya the missing papers of her dog to post. Tinya returns home where her mother gives her a new hairbrush that she uses on her beautiful and straight hair. Her brother sees the missing paper for the dog and goes out of the house. Not long after, he returns carrying the dog's decapitated corpse and tells their parents that he saw Tinya killed and buried it. Tinya remains silent as their parents scold her brother. As the kid that he is, her brother pushes her before stomping his way out. Tinya's fallen to the floor, wakes up the creature, and her brother sees its silhouette moving in her room. He comes in and checks the underneath of the bed, and the creature quickly shows itself. While he backs away in fear, Tinya suddenly suffers from a seizure. In a desperate attempt to stop her from moving, the mother slaps Tinya, which successfully stops the seizure. Tinya returns to her senses, while her brother storms out of the room to tell their parents about the thing living underneath Tinya's bed. The mother checks her room and finds her competition cloth torn up. As she looks up, Tinya finds the creature hiding. The mother leaves with the cloth, disappointed as she thinks that the competition is not important for Tinya. Later that day, Tinya eats the bird food that she bought, causing her to vomit. The undigested food from her gets eaten by the creature, and as it finishes, Tinya hears it say, Allie. From then, Tinya starts calling her Allie, and she dresses her up with one of her dresses. Later that night, while they're asleep, Allie sneaks into the mother's room and leaves her slimy goo on the mother's hand and thigh. The mother soon wakes up and sees a silhouette passing by just outside her room. The mother checks the house holding a knife after seeing a piece of black feather on her white carpet. Suddenly, her son comes running to her and tells her that Tinya is a mother. The mother calms him down and tells him that it's a nightmare. The following day, Tinya dresses up Allie again and even brushes her hair, telling her that she's beautiful. During practice, Rita shows an excellent performance, earning her the spot in the competition. This causes the mother to subtly compare Tinya's performance to Rita, pressuring her. As the practice ends, the mother offers Rita a ride home, but she kindly refuses as she likes walking home. On the way home, Tinya worryingly asks her mother to turn around, as she feels Allie following Rita through a psychic link that connects them. At that same time, Rita feels someone behind, but whenever she turns around, there's no one. She starts running and then checks the road one more time, and this time, Allie shows herself in a more human form without her beak. Rita screams in horror, while Tinya suffers from a quick seizure as Allie harms a human being. As they return, Tinya immediately looks for Allie, but all she finds in the closet is the beak. The following day, the mother reminds Tinya about staying over at Tiro before the competition. After that, she leaves Tinya with her father, who confirms that he knows about the affair. He tells Tinya that he respects the mother by knowing what she wants, but deep inside, he's more than hurt as his wife found someone else. They soon arrive at Tiro's home, where Tinya learns that he's a widower with an infant named Helmi. The mother holds the baby in her arms, like Helmi came from her. Later that night, Ali shows up outside her door, so Tinya lets her in. As they sleep together, Tinya cannot help but notice that Ali's becoming more human with her stance and blonde hair. The following day, Tiro makes Tinya comfortable in his house and even makes her laugh. Later that day, she visits Rita in the hospital and notices that she has severe injuries, especially her amputated left hand. Rita suddenly grabs her arm and lets out a terrified scream that scares her. So she breaks free and runs away, while Rita continues to scream. As soon as they return home, Tinya locks herself in her room and breaks down into tears as she realizes what Allie had done to Rita. She screams at Allie, scolding her for her impulsive actions, and then she repeatedly hits herself in order to hurt Allie because of their psychic link. Allie stops her before she can hurt both of them anymore and lets her cry in her arms to calm her. Tinya wakes up not long after and notices that Allie is beginning to look more like her. She leaves her room and goes to the workshop where she finds Tiro. He gives her a pair of grips with her name engraved on them so she can wear them for the competition. As she's comfortable around him, Tinya shows him how to do different types of cartwheels, but she constantly fails with Ariel. Tiro stops her before she can hurt herself. And he knows from the look on her face that she's only doing gymnastics because of her mother's pressure on her. To ease her, Tiro tries out the cartwheel and laughs at himself when he fails. Just then, they hear Ali making a bird sound, so Tinya immediately excuses herself. Tiro follows her not long after. When Tinya refuses to talk to him, he forces the door to open, only to find Ali eating Tinya's vomit. This causes her to charge at him, but Tinya on the side immediately closes the door, injuring Tiro's hand in the process. Tinya hides behind the door. So Tiro thinks Ali is Tinya. Shortly after, while he's wrapping bandages around his injured arm, Tinya comes out. She apologizes for what happened and tells Tiro that she can take the bus home, so he will never see her again. Tiro calmly refuses that and claims there's no need for it. But he suggests talking about her strange behavior with the mother. Tinya immediately pleads with him not to. Tinya is about to tell him about Ali when her mother comes in to fetch her for the competition. 
Tiro lies to her, and says that he injured himself while working in the workshop. During practice outside, Tiro cannot help but notice how perfectionist and strict Tinya's mother is when it comes to Tinya. But when it comes to Helmi, she's very lovable and sweet. As Tinya observes them, she sees Ali standing by the window, so she repeatedly asks her mother to take Helmi with them, but she refuses. While at the venue, Tinya cannot help but be worried for Helmi. Meanwhile, her mother live streams the competition with the family. As she begins her routine, her connection with Ali strengthens, and she can see her taking Tiro's axe to kill Helmi in an act precipitated by Tinya's perception that her mother is trying to start a new family. Ali is about to kill Helmi when Tinya sabotages herself by injuring her wrist, stopping Ali in the process. Tiro sees Ali in Helmi's room, but she quickly flees through the door before he can catch her. Tiro holds Helmi in his arms, worried and scared. As soon as they return to his house, Tiro ends his relationship with the mother because he believes that Tinya has some serious problems, thinking she's Ali. The mother tries to work things out, but she soon enters the car angrily and suddenly hits her face on the steering wheel. She begins to bleed, but she drives and comes home like nothing happened. Ali follows them, but Tinya pushes her away, refusing to let her come in. After that, she observes as her mother tries to maintain their family image on camera, but she fails miserably. Meanwhile, the father accidentally finds Ali outside and lets her come into Tinya's room, believing that she's Tinya. While she's cleaning herself, the mother enters her room and finds Ali in the closet. Thinking she's Tinya too, the mother starts brushing her hair, but then she uses too much force that she accidentally chunks off Ali's hair. The mother backs away in terror, but Ali embraces her and dugs her nails on her back, causing Tinya to hear them. Tinya rushes to remove Ali from her mother. As they stand side by side, the mother notices the uncanny resemblance. Ali charges at the mother, but Tinya quickly intervenes and repeatedly screams that no one wants her. Ali's mouth splits open as she flees, while Tinya explains to her mother that the recent events are all Ali's doing. The mother comforts Tinya, before giving her a knife to protect themselves from Ali. While searching for her, the father and the brother show up. The mother tells them about Ali, and then returns to Tinya's room, where Ali attacks and overpowers her. She reaches for the knife as Tinya enters and warns her not to hurt Ali, but it's too late. The mother stabs Ali in the thigh, creating exactly the same wound on Tinya. Realizing that she may die if Ali does, Tinya blocks the next stab, but the knife goes straight to her heart. In shock, the mother removes the knife, causing Tinya to fall over Ali. Surprisingly, Ali takes some of Tinya's blood, transforming her pupils to fully look human, and heals the opening of her mouth. The film ends with the mother breaking down into tears as she realizes that she just killed the perfect daughter she could ever have. Meanwhile, Ali stands before the mother, representing everything she hates and dislikes as a perfectionist and feigned influencer. The way Ali turns into Tinya tells exactly how Tinya has been forced to change from a timid and obedient girl into a girl full of hatred and indifference. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.